Hi, today we're going to read Arthur Turns Green. With Earth Day coming up, it seems like a good book to read. Please like, share, and subscribe. Arthur Turns Green by Mark Brown. Arthur's class was working in the school garden when Mr. Ratburn began to explain their next class project. Let's call it the Big Green Machine, he said. Your job is to find ways to make our planet a better place to live. We'll present all of your ideas at the school family night. On the way home from school, Arthur and his friends talked about their project. I'm thinking garbage, said Buster, because I love food, and when you don't eat food, it turns into garbage. So maybe I need to eat more. I'm going to sell all my old clothes so other people can use them, said Muffy. Then I can buy new clothes. I'm going to collect some cans and return them for deposit, said Binky. I can use the money to save the polar bears. What's your project, Arthur? His friends asked. Arthur just smiled. You'll see, he said. At home, Arthur walked around the house, making notes and talking to himself. Why are you acting weirder than usual? asked D.W. The big green machine was all Arthur said as he unplugged his mother's cell phone charger. After dinner, Arthur changed the light bulbs in three lamps to bulbs that save energy. At bedtime, he took the shortest shower ever and shut the water off while he brushed his teeth. Then, Arthur came in to say goodnight to D.W. and turned off the lights while she was still reading Fluffy, the very special unicorn. The next day, Arthur and his friends stayed after school to work on their projects. Is that a picture of your house? asked Buster. Yes, said Arthur. I found things I can do to save energy in almost every room. Arthur was late for dinner. You owe me big time, said D.W. I had to set the table and that's your job. Sorry, said Arthur. I had to deal with the big green machine at school. Then D.W. noticed Arthur's green hands. What machine is turning Arthur green, she thought. At bedtime, D.W. found lots of new plants in her room. She heard odd noises coming from the garage. A shadowy figure was sneaking through the yard. Things are getting really creepy around here, she thought. The next morning at preschool, D.W. worried about Arthur. There's a big machine that's turning my brother green, D.W. told her friends. You're making that up, said Tommy and Timmy. Am not, said D.W. Come over to my house after school and see for yourselves. Later that afternoon, Buster helped Arthur and his dad work in the garden. You have a real green thumb, Arthur, said dad. Me too, joked Buster. I'm still green from working on our projects. Wow, said Tommy. Arthur really is turning green. Look, said Timmy, so is Buster. Somehow, this big green machine turns everyone green, said D.W. At dinner, Arthur set the table with cloth napkins instead of paper ones. When his family was finished eating, he checked his watch. Time to go, he said. Go where, asked D.W. Dad's helping us with the big green machine at school, Arthur explained. See you later, alligator, said Dad. Oh no, thought D.W. Not Dad, too. That night, D.W. dreamed about a big green machine that ran around turning everyone green. Then it started chasing her. She woke up just in time. When she went down for breakfast, D.W. gasped. Dad's hands were green too. Tonight, 
His family night at school, said Arthur. I'll show you how we can have the big green machine right here at home. I can't go, declared D.W. I feel sick, real sick. But D.W. didn't have a temperature. So that night, the whole family went to Arthur's school. Just before they went in, D.W. suddenly grabbed Arthur's arm. Help me, cried D.W. I don't want the big green machine to turn me green, too. It's not what you think, said Arthur. Follow me. The big green machine is just the name of our class project. It's about all the things we can do to save the planet, said Arthur. Oh, well, why didn't you say so, said D.W. Mom smiled and gave Arthur a hug. Then D.W. read Arthur's poster out loud. The big green machine, save our planet. Turn your house green. Find a way to reuse things rather than throwing them away. Turn off your computer at night and use the sleep mode when not in use. Unplug cell phone chargers when not in use. Use cloth napkins instead of paper napkins. Plant a tree to celebrate a special family event. Walk, carpool, ride your bike, or take a bus to school. Turn off lights when no one needs them. Turn off the water when brushing your teeth. Take short showers and turn off the water while soaping up. Use fluorescent light bulbs. Back at home, Dad made ice cream sundaes. Then it was time for bed. Arthur and D.W. turned off the water while they brushed their teeth. It's so funny that you thought the big green machine was turning everyone green, Arthur laughed. Suddenly, everything went dark. Hey, said Arthur, who turned off the lights? I did, said D.W. with a giggle. <laughs> Looks like I'm turning green, too. <laughs> well... Hope you like that one. We like Arthur. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Have a happy Earth Day. Bye-bye.